Today I woke up and had about five videos talking about Windows Phone 7 series. So I had to see what the buzz was about. And on the surface, this new OS that, and phone that the Microsoft company is coming out with is going to increase the level of competition, guys, that I think in the smartphone category. Now let's look at the phone hardware. I think it's pretty sleek. It has a bigger screen. And this is something, obviously, that will bring multi-touch gestures and better games and things like that to the, um, to the Microsoft Marketplace. It's going to go hand-in-hand -hand with the new OS and the home screen friendly interface. It's very home screen friendly. After watching Sojourner's Best's video, he did mention that the OS will, put the phone, will be put on phones that are already out there on the market. So they're not going to just revamp the whole phone just to go with the new system. So for older phones, they will be on older phones. But by holiday 2010, that's by like the Christmas uh, season and Christmas time, you'll probably see the bigger phones out there with the new Windows uh, Phone 7 series on it. And on another quick note, there are only three physical buttons on the new phone they uh, displayed today. They have a back button, a start button, and a search button. And obviously that search button is going to only search through Bing, which is pretty cool that you see Bing out there now on uh, phones. So very cool there. The OS on this phone, I think, is actually going to be more in tune with people's social lives and networks. I think more than the iPhone's current OS. Steve Ballmer, the CEO of Microsoft, said in the, um, in the keynote that he challenged, and I quote, he challenged the team to deliver a different kind of mobile experience. The Windows Phone 7 series marks a turning point a, toward the phones that truly reflect the speed of people's lives and their need to connect to other people in all kinds of seamless experiences. That being said, basically what he said, uh, for example, on the iPhone apps, you have a different app for Twitter and for Facebook. Well, on this new Windows Phone 7 OS, you can update Facebook, Twitter, all those um, social networks, I guess Google Buzz now, you can, update, you can update all those networks basically in one real time. You don't have to go to, you don't have to open up a Facebook app and then open up a Twitter app like on the iPhone. So that, that's really cool, much faster, and it's amazing. Now, also on the Windows Phone 7 series, what kind of name is that? The phone updates pictures and social networks on the fly, and of course it's a music player, and it also has an FM radio tuner. Come on, Apple. You'll be hearing more from Microsoft about the Windows Mobile OS when it comes out closer to the holiday season, I'm pretty sure in the summertime when a new iPhone comes out as well. So here's my two cents. It seems like a nice phone. I'm glad we're going to have more types of phones out there with better OS's than the uh, iPhone, because it's going to enable the iPhone team to work just as hard to uh, produce a better iPhone than what they have right now. So I'm really excited to see what the iPhone has up its sleeve and what Apple has up its sleeve with the recent updates to Microsoft and Google with their Nexus One and all that jazz. So this is Scooter Macintosh Tips. Be sure to subscribe. I have a link in the description box uh, to basically have more overview of the phone, so you can check that out. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Hey guys, what's up? Scooter here with Macintosh Tips. Today I have uh, just a quick video to show you guys of what I have coming up uh, product review wise. We've been doing a lot of tips lately. So, on the product side, what we have, we have Mac Slaps. Uh, I recently did a video on this. Uh, if you haven't heard about this, there'll be an annotation at the end of the video. But, Mac Slaps are basically decals that go around um, your Mac on the Apple logo. They're really, really cool. Uh, and they're really, really nice. And I got three of these in the mail today. Here's one of them. Uh, it's like a like a Chuck Taylor shoe and as you see you fit it around your Apple logo and then here's another one, like this one's really popular got a little Lego, Lego man here that grabs the Apple logo and then here you can barely see this one but it's like a tic-tac-toe board here this one's also really cool so I got three Mac slaps we're going to review and we're going to give some of these away so stay subscribed to Macintosh Tips guys also on this side we have uh, from cases.com they were nice enough they're like a reseller basically of cases so some of their cases are cheaper than what you might find on their actual Cases website, so like say these uh these capsule rebels here that I got from um from Switch Easy, uh they're probably cheaper on Cases.com than they are on um the actual Switch Easy site. So I got a red Switch Easy case here, and this is also really cool because it comes with these things as well. It comes with a uh, it comes with a video stand, a universal dock adapter, two anti-static protectors, and a microfiber. So very cool. I got one in red here, and I also have another one in black. I'll be having a review on one of these and also giving one of these away. And also, I have an Inno Pocket here. This is made out of aluminum. Uh, aluminum for your iPhone 3G and 3GS. All these are for your iPhone 3G and 3GS from Cases.com. One last thing about Cases.com, guys. They are giving you guys a 15% uh, discount on uh, for our viewers to buy a case. Um, that I review or any other case at cases.com. So pretty much all the cases are 15% discount and they have a code here that I will put in the description box for you guys to go check that out as well. Uh, so check out for a review on all these products very, very soon. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Peace out.